This is some uh, more video on the uh, grotesque conversions I did. Well, two conversions in one standard. The, uh, I've done some green stuff work and used some super glue to fill in some of the holes. And take a close look at them here. See, I kind of uh, blended that arm in a little. stuff work there. All the holes here I just filled in with super glue. I need to scrape some of the excess off. But <laughs> Did a little green stuff in there. The holes there I filled in with super glue. I think I uh, did a little green stuff at his waist. That little vial was missing. I just need to clean that up with a file, round it off a little. Looks like I maybe hit it with my hand where I had it rounded off. Filled in the gaps on those little arms a little. Here I kind of made it rounded out there. Take a file of that and clean it up a little. Put a little sleeve around the piston to hide that. Did a little line of green stuff in behind the back. See where I gotta do a little more clean up. There was another vial replaced on one of them, I'm trying to see where it is. But I'll clean those up and primer them, and then I'll come back with another video. After I prime them, I'll dry brush them and uh, maybe get a better idea what they look like once all the holes are filled and it's cleaned up. I've got them uh, primered and uh, dry brushed white now so the details stick out. The, uh, I went back and tried to uh, sand and touch up some of the green stuff to uh, just make it look a little better. I'm sure once I get it macro here I'll see all kind of defects. But here's the first guy. I see where I got one pin hole left there. And I used super glue on the abs. After playing with green stuff a little, I probably would have done better just doing a little dab of green stuff over the abs and then pushing it in the holes and scraping it off. Because the super glue is just a little thin. It works good if there's just one little pin hole. But there was basically a pin hole in each one of the abs. And hindsight green stuff just would have worked better it would have been soft and malleable and I could have just pulled and scraped it over the uh, abdomen and it would have uh, gone in the holes and kind of see what it looks like with all those sections highlighted. It becomes harder and harder to pick out any flaws. So I can still add a little bit of a pinhole right there underneath his uh, tricep.
can see on the abdomen it's kind of messed up right there. That little gash is from me trying to scrape out some of the super glue. And some of the rest of that's where the super glue where I just didn't get it all scraped out enough. We said green stuff would have worked better. Still got the big hole in the arm there. It's use a little green stuff. Or I could just do it up like a sore when I paint it. So when I attach the arm, kind of sanded those pieces off a little to make them flow a little smoother. Micro, it always looks a, a lot worse than it is on the, by the naked eye. You can barely notice any of this with the naked eye. But that's it, and that should give an idea of what it all looks like for a fine cast from unpacking into a full assembly.